Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. Let's begin. Let's see what's going on with the oracle. I'm using the Nature Whisper. Okay, so do check it out. All the deck that I'm using is available at my store. Welcome! In the morning, <laughs> excuse me, I have so much joke right away. It's a Shangri-La at night. It's Castlevania. <laughs> so the other day I read at night over here. So if ever you're in town, make sure to stop by. Okay. Let's see what's going on for the Taurus. Okay. You have bountiful harvest. Yes. Okay. So what does it mean? Everything that you have worked hard for, it's time. It, it, what did they say? Reap what you sow, right? So you planted the seed. It has grown now and it's time for us to enjoy. Bountiful harvest is a symbol of everything that you have put effort, time, love, care, and energy. It is time for you to receive okay when we manifest we're always of course like trying to bring in and we but we have to release in order to bring it in so i feel like you've done all the releasing especially with k2 and scorpio car <laughs> rao and taurus and it's at the final countdown now so everything that you have probably been working on relationship partnership or business it's time for you to get it because it's the in the past 18 months you've been working hard on this guys sorry i didn't put the timer but let me just put a timer okay okay here we go so the first few minutes is on the house <laughs> so <laughs> i swear you are such a business come on guys okay you guys know how to do business yeah it sounds like it's business right here. Here we go. Let's see what's going on. I'm also using the Tarot Grand uh, Lux. Okay. Um, available in my website. Also. So just in case you guys are wondering. Here we go. Let's see. Okay. Mm-hmm. I sense a lot of money. Okay. Ooh, I say a lot of money. Ace of Pentacle came in. Taurus, we make him bank. Fight for this. Yes. Okay. Good. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm not at my house, and yet there are gardeners in the street. Okay. <laughs> I still get. That. All right. Let's 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 focus, Sal. Okay. Um, judgment and the Empress. I choose me and I know me and I deserve me to be me. I don't need to explain myself. What I need right now is to do good things for myself. Um, you're, you're in the path of really removing unnecessary, not unnecessary, like things that does not that doesn't serve you because not everything has to serve you, you know. Um, Things that you feel that you have already outgrown. There we go. I think that's the right way. When you've outgrown something, like a shirt, for example, right? When you can't fit in it, um, I don't know if that's a good sign for you. <laughs> for me, I like that I don't fit in my shirt anymore, so I get bigger, because that's my goal. Whatever your agenda is, but you've outgrown a situation, can be relationship, can be the home, the house, or the country, or the state, right? Like oh I'm you know I, I want I, you know I want to be in the big city now or you want you want to go reverse I've outgrown the city I want to be back in the in nature more suburb something like that that's a judgment so you're doing all this wonderful clearing okay darling we're doing some clearing judgment because why you're making room Empress mm. you're making room for love relationship money you can be cutting down on expenses with a judgment and then putting it into a business empress she is entrepreneurial but not like an emperor she's more of like the past uh, is it passive or like a silent business partner you can be this one um the empress of course is a symbol of all the growth which is good all the abundance it's more than the will of fortune that's why she is just living a life of luxury mm -hmm. 
you have someone who have confidence issue. I can tell you that. Mm -hmm. They have a five of cups and a king of wands. Good looking, well manifested, but when it comes to love or giving out emotions, I feel like they are insecure, Taurus. They're not like you. Mm -hmm. You're driven, you're motivated with regards to love, you're go, go, go. For them, they sometimes feel like they don't deserve love. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it triggers them to be upset with you. Um, they are not able to express clearly their emotions and feelings. I would have to say like they're very masculine on that side. Um, but they're not the, you know, the label, you know, when people label to toxic masculinity, they're not that that. I don't even like to uh, put that label because everybody can be toxic, not just a masculine, right? I don't get it. So <laughs> everybody, then I will call it not toxic masculinity. I'll call it toxic everybody. <laughs> so you, you're an ascendant master, you're not toxic. Oh, okay, got it, yeah. <laughs> if you're human, you have toxicity in you, you have karma, you're burning through. So the king of wands over here with the five of cups, um, it feels like they're doubting the connection. And this is where you get upset, Taurus. Because, of course, you as a, as a stable provider of the relationship, Ace of Pentacles, you get triggered by them, and then you have argument, Five of Swords. Um, when they doubt you or the connection, it makes you feel like frustrated because it's like, I'm always here, I'm doing everything, and yet you're not happy. So what else do you want? Because you have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. Yes. So for this person, nothing is ever good. Oh, I... <laughs> okay. Um, three of cups in the hangman with them. Mm, sometimes they would try to channel their happiness elsewhere, meaning they won't spend time with you because they're upset with you. They'll spend time with friends. They're... There are instances here where when I say outsourcing, they'd rather go out, have fun, and not including you. And it really triggers you here with the Five of Swords. You've given them so much with the Empress, and then only to find out like they're going out with other people. Mm -hmm. If you guys are not in a relationship, they're still dating. Um, with the Hangman over here, it, it's a process for them, I feel. Like they want, in a way, like I feel like the Hangman here looks like the fool but tangled. So. It means they want to have freedom, but they don't know, okay? They want to have freedom, but they don't know what kind of freedom. They want to have space with you, but they're not sure because they do love you because there is a two of cups over here in the window. So they think of you very, very dearly, but then they're just messed up. <laughs> so, um, you have here the four of cups, wishful, praying, things can go better. Mm -hmm. But you are now in the devil side also. So judgment is a very good card for the first card, which means like you're trying to detach. I was, I was on the way here to the store and I read you know, the post like uh, Buddha once said that, um, is that pain? Uh, the cause of pain is attachment, right? So um, Buddha bless you. That's what I always watch, you know. And when I was young, they always, the monks always say, Buddha bless you. And I love those, you know, uh, Chinese Kung Fu martial arts growing up. So, so Buddha bless you, okay? So you're releasing with a judgment, which is good. The more that we attach, the more it's going to be painful to anything. Uh, may it be money, um, family, loved ones. It's the attachment that causes pain. To release... You know, the energy gives more to us, actually. We benefit more by releasing, not by holding. Okay. So, Four of Cups to the Devil, you're saying here, it's like, I wish that they would change, but if not, I feel like this is it, because I'm doing a judgment. Three of Wands and the Two of Swords, they play this game of, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't, for me, I don't do that. I never can handle, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of things that is, uh, um, how to say, certain in this world. And one is just like, let's have a clear communication. Let's not leave everything hanging. Because they're hanging. Mm -hmm. So you're stuck also because they're stuck. Now, I'm not here to scare you. It does feel like a karmic cycle. Okay? It does feel like you ain't going nowhere. You're trying to detach. 
five of swords with the devil, there's this ego part of you that you want this. I want this bad. And the empress, I love love and I want this person. But you're trying to detach. Mm -hmm. Death card, page of cups, six of pentacles with the ace of wands. See, the reason why you linger with this person is the part of fear. The devil can also be fear. Fear of losing someone, fear of not being around them. It's fear. Mm -hmm. And with the page of cups here, you still have the same feeling from day one. And it's hard. It's very difficult to let go of someone where it's still fresh. Six of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands, they're giving you this whole like a mixed signal, maybe again. So they're in the two of swords. I'm not sure. I'm getting it. I'm not. I'm not calling out the Gemini on this one. I'm sensing Mercurial, okay? Mercurial can be Virgo or Gemini, you know, because they're both Mercury ruled. Mm -hmm. But there's a Pisces also. A Pisces can also give you a maybe, especially if they're not certain anymore and they want their freedom because I sense there is a wanting of freedom over here. Mm -hmm. I don't know why today I have a lot of jazz hands, okay? Because <laughs> my hands are just so, so energetic today. Thank you, Hasta. Mm -hmm. Here we go. So let's see this uh, delay, Hangman. Okay, I'll get four cards for that one, Taurus. What's causing the delay? What's this indecisiveness with the Two of Swords? Let's get to the root of that. We're going to do that in the Grand Reveal. Why are they giving you now chump change? Okay, this is it. Six of Pentacles. They only one message reply. And should you end this? Because you do have the death card. You're saying here, it's like, maybe this is it for us. But with the devil, you're so attached. I want to see this part of you that is fearful. But there's some parts of you with the devil besides fearful is that you are suspecting. Because of five of swords, are you talking to someone? This is the argument always because you saw them with the three of cups. So let's see the five of swords then. Let's see the three of cups. Do they have someone else? That's the reason why they cannot decide right now. And that's the reason why they cannot commit to you. Let's see. And what will happen if you really pull the plug with a judgment right here? I'm going to get that. Mm -hmm. When you say it's like enough is enough. I'm done. But they still do have passion for you with the Ace of Wands. So let's see this passionate offer that they're trying to give you. I'm going to continue this reading. But hold on, Taurus. Um, in the coming weeks, I will be hosting okay, a workshop mm -hmm, for making coins and how to make your coins work for you. All right. So it's going to be in the description box below. If you are more business, career, money, you know, this year, if that is what you're manifesting, well, you come into the right spot right here. Okay. So um, you can tell I do know some parts here and there on how to manifest. I started from the bottom now, you know, what's that? It's a rap song like that. Okay. So anyhow, everything, if I were to give you uh, uh, an idea on how I started, I started with $300, $300 stars, and then the Shangri-La happened. Um, I was sharing this with one of the people who visited the store before. I, I, I feel like it was a Taurus. Um, it was a Taurus also. Let me just share. So when I started this, let me give you an insight on how much, because I'm very transparent over here, on how much I made on my YouTube, my very, very first YouTube earnings, 287 or 37, I cannot remember the circle, $287, one month, the first month. I don't have anything. I was broke. I have a bakery. I closed it. I don't know how to sustain it, but yet, I keep pushing and I will teach you how to make that happen to your life, okay? And you can join me in that workshop, okay? So it's gonna be down there, okay? Those are, I, I don't call that humble beginnings. I, I call that desperation, <laughs> okay? I want out, okay? I ain't no humble. I was looking for work. I know not, you know, looking for, I was trying to find myself. I was trying to, you know, gain focus of my life because I do have a bakery, but I'm reading now YouTube, this and that. There were so many things going on, but it all started knowing your Dasha and Antar Dasha. If the planets align, then that's it. The time is here. All right. So join me in my workshop. It's going to be down there. I'll see you guys again. Let's do the grand reveal um, for this. Uh, I feel like a little bit of a situationship going on. And I'll see you. Bye.